Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Resident Evil 2 error that is RE2.exe fatal application exit. So if you're receiving this error message, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to do a clean installation of your graphic card driver. So if you have AMD website, go to NV um, AMD website. If you have N NVIDIA, go to NVIDIA website. So I'm showing for NVIDIA. So just type in NVIDIA drivers in Google search. Then go to NVIDIA website. Select your graphic card from the list. So if you have GeForce, select GeForce. If you have RTX, select RTX. So just make sure that you select your graphic card. If you're not sure about which graphic card you have, make a right click on the start menu, then click on device manager. Expand display adapter and here you can see the name of your graphic card. Select your graphic card, then click on search. Then click on download. Now, once you click on download, a exe file will download. Once the download is complete, you have to run the exe file. Then you will see this option. So agree to the terms, then click on agree and continue. Select the option which says custom, then click on next. Then put a check on perform a clean installation. So this will be unchecked. You have to put a check over here, then click on next, and then you can install the latest graphic card driver. Now, after that, you restart your computer and then try launching the game. The next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. So make a right click on your desktop and then click on NVIDIA control panel and then click on manage 3D settings, click on program settings, then click on add. Select uh, Resident Evil 2 exe file. If you see it over here, if you don't see it, then click on browse. Then go to the game installation folder where the game is installed. Then select the Resident Evil 2 exe file. Then click on open and then click on the down arrow over here and select high performance NVIDIA processor and then click on apply. And then you can go ahead and try launching the game. In case still you are facing the problem, then perform the next step that is Try DX12 and vice versa. So open the game and then now go to options and then go to graphics now over here under you can see graphics api so you can go ahead and switch to directx 12 and then you can click on confirm press the uh, space to confirm and then you can go ahead and try launching the game try playing the game Still, you are facing the problem. In that case, you can switch back to DirectX 11. So whichever works for you, you can try that. If it's already set to DirectX 12, then you can switch to DirectX 11. And if it's on DirectX 11, you know, change it to DirectX 12. And then apply the settings and then try launching the game. Now, the next step is to turn on debug mode. So um, launch the NVIDIA control panel in debug mode so open nvidia control panel just make a right click on the desktop then click on nvidia control panel and go to help option over here on the top right you can see uh, on the top left you can see help so put a check on debug mode so put a check over here and then you can go ahead and try launching the game this has worked for many users so it might work for you the next step is to verify the game files and then restart your computer so to verify a game file uh, go to steam library then make a right click on resident evil 2 then click on properties then go to local files and then click on verify integrity of game files and once the verification is done you can go ahead and launch the game now in game go to the settings and change the shadow quality to minimum and then set the sh shadow cache to off so go to the game go to graphics And you can try this. So here you can see the shadow quality. Set it to minimum. And then 
turn off the shad shadow cache and then click on confirm then apply the settings and then you can try playing the game so one of the steps should definitely help you to get rid of this error message in case still you are facing a uh, problem while launching the game or you are facing any kind of crashing issue or black screen or any any issue and then please visit the link which i provided uh, which i provided in the video description so there is a link you can visit that link and there is a, a lot of troubleshooting uh, which you can try and one of the troubleshooting can help you to fix any other issues with your game so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel